Oh boy, what a night. Sweep, sweep, sweep. Let's do a live program. You are Locked On Cubs, your daily Chicago Cubs podcast. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. You are Locked On Cubs, part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day alongside Sam Olber. I'm Matt Cozy. Sam and I are lifelong fans, taking our passion into a discussion with you on all things Cubs. Thank you for being part of the show and making Locked On Cubs your first listen today. The best way you can help us grow the show is to listen every day, like the video, and comment anything below. Today's Thursday episode is presented by eBay. Motors, from brakes to exhaust kits and beyond, eBay Motors has over 122 million parts to keep your car alive. With all the parts you need at the prices you want, it's easy to bring home that big win. Keep your car going at ebaymotors.com. Eligible items only, exclusions apply, eBay guaranteed fit, only available to U.S. customers. Sweep edition. Cubs with a 9-8 win over the Rockies on Wednesday to sweep the series. Cubs get the job done against a clearly worse team, but it was not without drama. We'll get out. We'll get to how they scored and all the highlights and lowlights. Uh, but the game did turn as uncomfortable as the weather. Leads first of five nothing, and then eight two. And eight two was with nine outs to go, but the Rockies tied it eight eight in the eighth. Cubs retook the lead in the bottom half. And Adbert Alzali thankfully closed it out. Sam, the Cubs get the job done. It was a weird night. A little bit of a surprise that they even played, but uh, they come out of this one four and two after six. Was surprised they played the game. And you know, there's a lot. There's a lot in this game. I, I'll start. I'll start with the with the ending, and then and then work backwards. So have to, yeah. You know, the, the question I would like to ask Craig Council, and I, and I would love if somebody on the beat asked this question instead of just well, hopefully pop, they do. Just pops off ball questions. Uh, I would like to know, Naris and Alzali, in addition to some of the other high leverage guys, hadn't pitched since Sunday. So when right. you ran out El Monte there for the eighth, who are you going to stay away from until Friday? Was it going to be Naris or was it going to be Alzali? I think it was going to be Naris because – Naris, you know, wasn't even close. Uh, uh, like his his velocity and stuff was down. He's pitched a lot. I'm not going to blame Council in hindsight for El Monte not being able to get the ball over the plate. He's a big league reliever. He should be being up five in the eighth isn't even a high leverage situation. It's medium. It's a five run game. It's um, medium to low. I'd like to congratulate you on on being all over this early in March that you didn't like the way that El Monte looked. Well, he's not long for this club. Um, well, now, now, see, that's what I want to say before we get into this. I got the same messages about Merriweather last April. Oh, you know, and I listen. I'm not. Right. I'm not. I'm not waving the El Monte pom poms around. But I'm just saying Merriweather had some really bad starts. You don't trade for a guy like that. You just got to take him out of high leverage for a, for a few weeks. Take him out of medium. He should only be pitching if if it's six six runs either way. Okay. Up or down a lot, I guess. Yeah. And then, and then let him work his way back in. Cause Merriweather wasn't a high leverage guy till about late May, early June last year. All right. I'll, uh, that's a, I'll give you that. But, but by no means am I defending that product that he's putting out there right now. And, 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 and even, even in medium leverage up five in the eighth, stay away from him. He, he, he can't pitch right now. He only could be in, in big, uh, There's no reason to at this point. Now, now the other big managerial thing before we talk about the positives, which is a, a sweep and getting the job done, is the Morell at third base thing. You saw the problem with it late in the game. Because if he plays third and you replace him late, you lose his bat late, high leverage situation, Nick ground ball, magical first and third, one out, first pitch, routine grounder to third. They've got to right. clean that up. I love Mike Talkman's bat. His, his at-bats already this year have been great. But, you know, it's just – morell has got a DH, man. He's not even close. He, he, you know, may, maybe once a week when Imanaga pitches, uh, but but you just lose so much with your team with that. Now, the good, uh, huge win. Can't lose a game like that. Uh, <laughs> Suzuki is just absolutely on fire. 
uh, give Mastro speed, credit late. That's why he's on the roster. I think late so. Inning, his late inning speed. And I want to give one shout out. Hap with a nice hit. Hap. Ian Hap has, in my opinion, had the two biggest at bats of the season thus far, six games in. Sunday oh. against the Rangers, that yeah. walk late You're in the right. game. And then a man on first, nobody out. Clutch. That, that hit flipped the inning. And that was 98, low in the zone, when he was probably thinking about the breaking stuff. It's mm-hmm. a big base hit to center field. Um, and then I'd like to give credit. I was glad to see Michael Bush get some results finally today. Oh, big time. His at-bats. So overall, great day for the offense. Ben Brown pitched really well. Luke Little looked good. I- I'm not going to really sit on Naris. He came into a messy situation. It was really the Almonte thing. And then last thing, I know I'm going long. That's what I want to see with Alzali, hunting strikeouts. When you Finally. miss bats, it changes changes everything. He, uh, the leadoff guy got on. He made some bad pitches to Bryant. And then the two big lefties, dangerous lefties, Jones and Tolia, he got whiffs. And, and that's big. That's what I want to see for my closer. Not looking to get grounders, whiffs, whiffs, whiffs. Big outing for him. Through six games, the offense has passed the test and then some so far with arguably your number one and number two starters out uh, the first time through the rotation here. It seems like this group uh, at times could be a nice group, all things considered. Uh, Hopefully Kyle Hendricks bounces back soon, and and I'll get to the rotation more in a minute or two. But uh, I have to give it up to the offense because they're a joy to watch right now. Um, they're not only accepting their walks and putting the ball in play, but they're doing it when it matters. You know, after these first, let's say, five, six series, I'd like to visit the fan graphs pages and see what the clutch stats are like. Ian Happ is performing. Say a Suzuki, uh, Dansby Swanson with, a uh, nice at bat today early that that proved pivotal as those runs uh, clearly did matter. And in a game where at certain times uh, we were calling for the tarps to come out, uh, the lead slipped away. They almost lost the game. Thankfully, they won the game, uh, but it was too close for comfort. And, um, you know, maybe little to Brown becomes a thing over the next two weeks. We're going to update on Jamison Tyone later in the show. Uh, but that did work. You know, Luke Little open, Brent, Ben Brown followed. Uh, Little, um, almost amazingly, at least in terms of optics, he rolled out of this, out of there, out of the dugout. This brother rolls out of the dugout. It's 28 real feel in raining at 7 p.m. Central. He proceeds to hit in the first inning, a reliever starting a game, 99. 99. Mm-hmm. And that was on a couple of pitches. Mm-hmm. He sat 97, 98. And then Brown goes four, one run, three hits, one walk, five Ks. The kid is filthy. I understand the opponent. Uh, you can't take away my joy. Sorry. Well, well, the opponent um, didn't really matter for uh, Almonte. No, it did not. <laughs> and he's the only one of the 26 that you can genuinely uh, have some real, real concerns about, albeit only six games like you pointed out. Um, Seiya Suzuki would make a fine lead for Friday's episode leading to the Dodgers series. Um, but a lot of good things, especially offensively. And, uh, you know, maybe the Wicks to Imanaga to Saad to Brown. Uh, maybe maybe this can survive, at least until Tyone and Steele come back. Well, we're going to find out pretty soon because there's some big boys coming to town. There is. I uh, There is, yeah. I want to say one thing, though. You know, a little sloppy defensively again. Obviously, the Morrell air. Uh, Horner had a weird glove flip in the Yeah, eighth. Horner trying to do too much. And, and I'll tell you this, and, and, and this is too harsh. But I, I'm just saying it because I know Nico Horner, and if he were on this show, he'd agree. That ball that that Nolan Jones hit in the eighth, man on first, no outs against uh, Almonte after he walked Bryant, he should have he should have got an out. He, he'll tell you he should have got an out on it. It was hit hard. 
it was a hit. It, it went off his glove. And you could see his reaction when, when it right. went off his glove. So we, we got to clean up the defense. But I think it's also really hard to defend in this type of weather. I mean, it's it's really, yeah. really hard to get quick breaks. Everything hard to get, was harder, yeah. Uh, grip oh. the ball, all that good stuff. Uh, but um, listen, you said it. One and two in Texas, come home and sweep the Rockies. That's what they did. Yeah. And four uh, and two. It f- doesn't it feel good? You know what? Um, I, I thought it'd feel better. I'm a little tired. Okay. Well, it is one of our first it's our first late recording post 10 p.m. I'm a little bit stressed out. out. Um, I was kind of just enjoying myself, to be honest with you, when it was about when it got to be eight two. And uh, by the way, shout out to my friend Gonzo. Yeah, uh, what the heck is uh, his, his story? And his girlfriend Maddie, they were at the ball game today. And 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 by the way, Gonzo doesn't even like baseball. I didn't think so. I was trying to remember that. And so he he went to a game where it was basically January weather outside. I don't know. I'm gonna. It really it. was, and, and I'm gonna talk to him, do like a wellness check with him to make sure he's doing all right tonight or tomorrow. Uh, at some point, just mentally, just check okay. on him okay. because that was just a little odd to me. Somebody going uh, to a game like that, and that's his second one already. By the way, they've played three home games, so um, I, I, I <laughs> I'll just say this: I, I was yeah. just kind of doing some work, you know, just catching up on some uh, things because of the big lead, and it was eight two, and then. You know, I kind of, and then it was eight three. Merriweather, by the way, did not look sharp in this ball game. No, and, we didn't. And then, and then Almonte came in, and I go, I literally said, "All right, I kind of think I need to watch this because he really <laughs> hasn't been good." And then I, and then, and then it just got out of hand. You thought so, I stopped watching? Um, I thought, well, because you know, you're really weird with the responding sometimes. And, Listen, what do you want me to react to? They blew it. Well, because you and I have a really big show, and when this gets to be eight three to eight eight, I expect some sort of text. <laughs> Okay. What's going on? Are you okay? <laughs> have you eaten yet? You know, I, I have. I and have, I just want to say nice and one more thing before we get to a break. Go My comes. house has a little bit of a gas smell, and uh, I'm a little concerned. Uh, that is a problem. You know what might not be a problem for long? The Cubs starting rotation. Uh, we have an update on James. doesn't seem like you care that this whole thing could burn down. Yeah, you'll find a new partner. <laughs> Tyone coming up next. <laughs> Today's episode is brought to you by eBay Motors. Passion, drive, and patience. What brings home the winning trophy is also what keeps your car alive. eBay Motors has everything you need to maintain your vehicle, level it up to peak performance from superchargers, roof racks, exhaust kits, LED headlights, and more. Whether you're into speed, power, or style, eBay Motors has got you covered. With over 122 million parts for your car, you'll always find exactly what you're looking for with eBay Guaranteed. Fit, your part is guaranteed to fit your ride every time or your money back. Because with eBay Motors, you're burning rubber, not cash. With all the parts you need at the prices you want, it's easy to turn your car into the MVP and bring home that win. Keep your car alive at ebaymotors.com. Eligible items only. Exclusions apply. eBay guaranteed fit only available to U.S. customers. This episode is also brought to you by Game Time. Game Time is now an authorized ticket marketplace of Major League Baseball, which makes getting tickets even faster and easier. Prices on the Game Time app actually go down the closer it gets to first pitch. With killer last minute deals, all in prices, views from your seat, and their lowest price guarantee, Game Time takes the guesswork out of buying MLB tickets. The experience of searching for and then buying tickets on Game Time is simple. Plus, Game Time is the only ticketing app that gives you complete peace of mind with your purchase. See the view from your seat before you buy so you know exactly what to expect when you arrive. For a limited time, all users can get $20 off any MLB purchase of $150 or more in the Game Time app with code FIRSTPITCH. Terms do apply. That's code FIRSTPITCH for $20 off only through April 14th. Download the Game Time app today. Last-minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. Jamison Tyone pitched another live BP session on, su- on Tuesday Excuse me, in Mesa. AZ out there at the Sloan Park facility. And it went well as manager Craig Council announced that Tyone will go out on a rehab assignment this weekend. Tyone will pitch for double A Tennessee on Sunday and will make two to three rehab starts if all goes well. Circle the next homestand beginning Thursday, April 18th against the Marlins for when Tyone could return to the major league rotation. And Sam, That is good news, and it will be a boost to the rotation no matter how they perform over the next couple weeks when he is back. 
yeah, I was kind of concerned about what's going on, so I didn't really listen. So but it really is smelling there, huh? Yeah, and I, and I didn't cook anything today, so it could be the neighbors. Yeah, no, that's Tyone- gonna be a, you, you have to check that out in 10 minutes. Yeah, I got to check it out in 10 minutes. I might die for the show. Um, yes, the show is very important. 500 plus live. Tyone coming back, obviously a huge lift. I, I, I read the articles today, something about, you know, probably mid-April Arizona. Is that what you just said? I did not. And uh, oh. thanks for listening to your own show. <laughs> I am circling Thursday, April 18th as the okay. possible first outing for him in the big leagues in 2024. Well, he's got to make at least two rehab Go starts. He's got to and build a- again. I already said that. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I've well, already said all well, this. Well, what are you, what are you tossing uh, over to me? What else are you going to say that he's going to pitch at Double A Tennessee at a rehab? Well, what that? What am I? I already I, said that. But what am I supposed to say then? Tyone's going to be a helpful piece, and he's going to correct. Pitch well, I, I pass you the ball. What 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 do you think about Tyone? Well, maybe my jump shot's kind of looking like the Illini Saturday evening. When you pass me the ball, because <laughs> the other team went on a 30 0 run. I've never seen that. I've been alive 30 years. I don't think um, there's any. No, listen, like this. this team, the, the sooner, the sooner Tyone could come back, yeah. the sooner there will be there will be relief on this staff. You know, I'm really interested to see what council does with somebody like Assad. You know, does Ben yeah. Brown does Ben Brown stay on the uh you know in the rotation? I mean, Ben Brown's right. got good stuff. Uh, I'm really excited to Did see Did you have him. fun watching him? No, but I I I really I <laughs> I respected what he did today. How can anybody have fun when the game's 11 degrees? It was uncomfortable, especially in the middle frames. Yeah, I'm not talking about glasses. Um, But I want to see how they use Ben Brown going forward. Will it, will it always be an opener? Because that was one really good move by council today. I think it's definitely an option. They can just go little to Brown every time. The, well, and the, well, especially with little because the Rockies are lefty heavy early. Blackman's always right. a thorn and the, it, it feels like he is. He, he probably isn't, but it feels like he is. No, then they I hit, think, I think that checks out. And then he hit Tovar second, who's not very good, a righty. And then mm-hmm. it goes McMahon. So two of the first three guys are lefties. Little gets those. And then Brown gets the ease in with Bryant. And right. then, you know, the rest of the guys. So it made a lot of sense. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, so, so, so seeing how, how he'll be used, especially on the West coast, yeah. that West coast trip that's coming, it'll be really nice to get one against the Dodgers, get to five and four. Cause you know, that's going right. to challenge, the, that's going to challenge the staff. There's not a lot of off days. Yep. You know, um, yeah, they they sneak one in uh Thursday next week, but still the Padres Mariners D backs is going to be, you know, that nine games. That's, that's difficult. It, it's, and, it's, uh, it, you know, we'll preview this more for Friday's episode, but I I am, you know, I am as much as I can uh, looking forward to, to seeing if Hendricks bounces back. I, I do have um, concerns about Friday's game, um, but really excited. Wicks, Yamamoto, and then uh, who's in the third game? Gavin Stone for the Dodgers and uh, Imanaga. So, right. Sorry. I had a little... Yeah, definitely opportunities there. Hey, the Iowa Cubs have started their season already. There's one specific player that is crushing the ball right now, but I have a few names in front of me so far in Des Moines that we really need to keep track of, including a certain pitcher. Maybe we see him uh, replace Almonte at some point. And uh, we'll get to some of those hitters as well coming up next. Today's episode is brought to you by Prize Picks, America's number one fantasy sports app. It is the easiest and most exciting way to get in on the action while you watch your favorite sports and players. Pick more or less on two or more player stats and then watch the winnings roll in. Baseball season is officially underway, so don't miss your chance to add your favorite players from the diamond in your prize picks entries. Whether it's strikeouts, RBIs, or first inning runs, take your pick of more or less and add them to your prize picks entry. Prize picks is really simple to play with your entries taking less than 60 seconds to submit, turning $10 into $1,000 with just a few taps of your screen. Download the prize picks app today and use code locked on MLB for a first deposit match up to $1. Hundred dollars. That's a first deposit match up to one hundred dollars by using code Locked On MLB. 
Pick more, pick less. It's that easy with Prize Picks, America's number one fantasy sports app. The Iowa Cubs are a few games into their season as well as AAA got started the same week last week as uh, the Major League Club. Tennessee Smokies debut uh, this Friday. Cade Horton and Matt Shaw are on that roster and uh, need to see about Kevin Alcantara and James Triantos. Those are kind of the other two core pieces I'm uh, keeping an eye on. The I-Cubs have lined up one, two, three, four in their order like this, Sam. Pete Pro Armstrong, Alexander Canario, Owen Casey, and Matt Mervis. Certainly a formidable group for pitchers to open up with down there. And Owen Casey, the three-hitter for the I-Cubs, uh, so far is nine for 20 with three doubles, three walks, and five runs batted in. I do think uh, really any of these four could have contributions on the Cubs this year, and it's nice to see them, especially Casey, uh, who is playing right field but might get time at first base as well, off to uh, such a hot start as we start to keep an eye on the prospects. We were going to talk about this if the game got canceled tonight. Yeah. For those AAA guys, especially the PCAs of the world, the Canarios of the world, uh -huh. this is kind of – this is their year. You either are going to move up mm. and increase your value or or we're going to look back and go, man, what could Jed have gotten for PCA if he traded them in the, in the offseason of 24? You know, right. this is a big year. It's it's either it's, – it's, it's a leap year. They, they got to take a leap. Nice. PCA needs to – to dominate triple a uh, and really start to hit well offensively. Owen Casey uh, Canario, these guys, I think 2024 for these prospects uh -huh. is kind of the, the year, especially for the, for the Hortons, the, the oh. Hortons, the, the PCAs, the Shaws, the Canarios, the Alcantara's are you guys dudes, you know, are That's you a guys great dudes? tagline? Come on and flex your, you know, pump, pump up your chat, uh, chest, flex your muscles. Yeah. Are you guys going to be dudes this year? We mm -hmm. know that this that this system has a ton of depth, but now that depth isn't as significant because you didn't really trade any of them this off season. And if they're not that good this year, they're going to lose value. So now that depth has to turn into value. And I, I want to see some of these guys take a step and say, hey, I'm a dude. I am one of you. You could flip me to any rebuilding team in baseball and you could go get a real stud. And when I come up, I'm going to be a, a top 50, top 60 prospect. Uh, ben Brown's up in the league. You've talked about uh, Casey. PCA is going to be up at some point. Right. Um, I, I want to see Matt Shaw when he starts over double A. When's double A start next week? Friday. Friday. I want to see I want to see Matt Shaw come out and say I'm a dude. I'm gonna, I'm going to hit 320 here and by by the time we hit uh mi you know mid-May uh, uh late May he's he's a triple A player. And last note on this Sam Hayden Wisniewski three scoreless innings in his first outing. Uh only two hits, no walks mm -hmm. and struck out two. I do think at some point he will be back. Mm -hmm. uh, whether it's poor performance or injury, hopefully the former, really, um, to see him. Cubs sweep and proved a 4-2. and two. We'll be back Friday to preview the Dodgers series and take a look at who's hot and who's cold uh, on this team so far. A lot to be encouraged about uh, this week, and I, I get it. The opponent and strength of schedule is going to heat up, but uh, they got the job done even when uh, there was some drama there at the end. Thank you so much for checking out this edition of Locked On Cubs. You give us 20 to 30 minutes. We'll give you all things Cubs with a laugh or two along the way. Be sure to hit subscribe on YouTube as we make the push to 9,000 subs. Smash the like button for the algorithm and leave a five-star review on Apple, Spotify, and everywhere you get your podcast. Hopefully Sam's okay over there. Uh, his broom is. And I think yes, folks, people I am going to keep wearing this hoodie if they keep winning. I think it's the people above me. I'm going to go scope it out. He's Sam Olber. I'm Matt Cozy, and this is Locked on Cubs. There is momentum happening here.